up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sherry. Thank you so much for being here today. I am here with a little baby haul for you today. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory. I have been a big Wayne Goss fan for a very long time. I have a set of his very expensive brushes. There's one right there peeking out at me. Very expensive brushes that were quite the investment for me, but I absolutely love them. I have always viewed him to be someone who has integrity and character and who does things in an honest way, and so I've always had a lot of respect for him. I really enjoy his videos. I've learned a lot from him. I've taken a lot of his recommendations and been very happy with them, and so I've always been very happy to support him. Something happened recently. There was a video that went it went up and then got taken down and I never did see it and I never did find out what happened. But he's been going through a lot of rough times, but <clears throat> seems like things are starting to come around for him. So whenever I found out that he was going to start a color cosmetic line, I was really excited to support him and excited to try his products. So I will show you a little snapshot of what I got. I got two liners, um, one bullet lipstick, and two glosses. So they were pretty expensive. The combination of these was around a hundred dollars. Pretty expensive. I'll put all the pricing information up whenever I show you the items. So I'm pretty sure that these lip liners were fourteen dollars a piece. But like I said, instead of me trying to guess, I'll put all the annotations with the prices and the names and all the jazz. Um, I have tried all of these. I do already have a little bit of an opinion, so I will tell you as I swatch them for you what my opinion is. And you can take it for what it is. It's not a first impression, but pretty close to it. And so without having used them in different situations, it's hard to know. I got mauve and I got natural berry. So I'm gonna swatch mauve for you. I'll try to do a substantial swatch so that you can really see it. I will say so far that the, the liners are very dry, but I heard him do a little bit of an explanation about that. There's the color mauve. Um, he said that whenever, he, as a makeup artist, when using a lip pencil, he wanted a point. He always wanted a sharp point, and if you couldn't get a sharp point, then what was the point? Pun intended. This is the natural berry. And so he intentionally made the formula waxier or stiffer so that it would hold its point and it wouldn't be so creamy that you couldn't control it. And that is natural berry, so mauve natural berry. And so anyways, I understand that. It does, after warming up, is easier to put on. So I like to warm it up on my hand first, but like if I go straight in with it, it's a little bit dry and a little bit tuggy. And I'm really used to really creamy lip liners like Gerard Cosmetics lip liners or Buxom Plump Line lip liners, which are super emollient. And they may not, they do set and they do stay in place, but you can't really get a super precise line with them if you wanted it. And that was his reason behind making them that formula. So. Next is the one bullet lippy that I got. These are all nudes and the lower half of the spectrum of colors were so light. Like so light that even with a darker lip liner I don't think that I would like them and there were a lot of them that looked very similar to me so I had a really hard time even, I, I kind of disregarded all of those because I didn't I knew I wouldn't like them. So I went straight in for Carnation. And um, if I didn't say so, these are wooden pencils with metal lids. They have to be sharpened. Um, this is the lipstick, bullet lipstick Carnation. And this is a little metal tube. His name is on there, very, very sleek, very simple. I think it suits him. And inside is silver. It says Wayne Goss right here and just a general 
normal bullet. The it has maybe a very faint vanilla scent, but it's not strong at all. Like you wouldn't even notice it unless you were intentionally smelling for it. So I'm gonna do a swatch for you here of the Carnation lipstick. Definitely a beautiful, deep, rosy pink color. Very emollient, very creamy. So that being said, and this isn't a negative it's just a fact these are very creamy very emollient lipsticks so they're not going to be long wearing lipsticks and i was really surprised at how not long wearing it was but i'm also somebody who wears liquid lipsticks almost all the time i also wear lip liner with gloss over it where there's something underneath when the gloss wears off things like that so i haven't done a lot of those kinds of experiments with these what i have done is that one day i put on the lip liner and this lipstick and this lip gloss and I was so surprised because it seemed maybe it was a half an hour or less I went and looked in the mirror and all that was left was the lip liner I was like I know it didn't come off that fast and I had eaten something or drank something but it wasn't anything that would have taken all my lipstick off but it was gone all that was left was the liner the liner was intact but the lip gloss and the lipstick were gone and I mean that's that's fine if you know if that's what you want and you don't mind reapplying and all the jazz but I just want you to know that because these are so emollient and so creamy they're not going to be long wearing. Now I got two glosses one is kind of a, there's some cream ones and there's some shimmer ones metallic like it has glitter in it and so I wanted this one it's called cherry blossom you guys know how I feel about cherry blossoms and I wanted to try one of these shimmer lips or lip glosses because they look so beautiful so this is cherry blossom and this is chrysanthemum another reason I chose chrysanthemum is because there is a children's book that I use at the beginning of every school year by um, Kevin Hinkies which is called or Hinks Kevin Kevin Hinks Hinks I think anyway called chrysanthemum 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 it scarcely fit on her name tag. I could probably recite the whole book. But anyways, that's why I chose Chrysanthemum. So I'm going to show you. How rude. I'm going to show you Cherry Blossom. It's a very interesting wand. It's really short, which I don't mind. But it's like a little teardrop oval. And I actually like that because it gives you a point and it gives you a broad area to put on the lip gloss. It has a very minty scent. It's not super heavy or super, I'll put the, I'll put the lip glosses over here to the side. It's not a super heavy scent and it does not cause any tingle or any kind of sensation on the lips, but it's there. And so if you don't like mint or if it's, you know, something that you don't enjoy then this is not going to be the lip gloss for you but it's in a little plastic component with the black lid and his name on it it's so little what I'll probably do is take a picture of these so that you can see them close up but I like the formula it's not very sticky it's very you know the color saturated it's opaque it looks beautiful in fact, what I'm going to do, I have on um, Stone by Dose of Colors. I'll probably put like the metallic on the top and the cream on the bottom so that you can see. But first, I'm going to swatch these for you. And then here's Chrysanthemum. And it's just impossible to show the beautiful shimmer that's in these shimmery lip glosses. They're beautiful. Maybe under these lights, it'll show. I don't know if you can see the gold shimmer in that, but it's gorgeous. Plus, I'm getting up close for you. So from, I'm trying to say, from the lipstick to the gloss, we've got the Carnation lipstick, the Natural Berry, the Mauve, the Cherry Blossom, no, the Chrysanthemum, and then the Cherry Blossom. Okay, so now we're going to go in with 
the lip glosses just to show you what they look like over top of a lip stick. So cherry blossom I'm going to put on my top lip and chrysanthemum I'm going to put on my bottom. And I just push my lips together. Why? Because that's what I usually do. I'll get close up here in a second. Let me just go ahead and do it. Welcome to my lips. <laughs> so I got cherry blossom. Adds a nice shine, a nice gloss. And then let's go in with chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum on the bottom lip. Ah, uh, that is so pretty. So pretty. Ah, uh, so pretty. It's beautiful. And I've not worn just the lip liner or just the or just a uh, lip liner on the whole lip with the lip gloss. I have not done that, which I think probably will increase the staying power. Now that I have this on and you've looked at it, take a gander. I'm gonna mix them together. Mmm, that's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> so the combination. All right, one last time, carnation. Carnation lipstick, natural berry liner, mauve liner, chrysanthemum lip gloss, cherry blossom lip gloss. So I will insert some pictures here of the actual components, the items that I bought so that you can see. I just kind of wanted to show you what I got with a little haul and tell you what my experience has been with them so far. Obviously I'll be using them and if I have anything else to say about them, they'll end up in a, in a empties, they'll end up in a um, favorites or some kind of video where I talk about it some more. If you have any questions in particular, let me know. But for now, short and sweet for you. This is my Wayne Goss haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you got some of these, tell me. If you got some of the lighter nudes, I'd be interested to know how those perform. And if you got any of these products, tell me what you think of them so far, especially if you got something different than I did. Do you like the lip gloss, the lipstick, the liners? Like, what's your favorite? Tell me what you think about them. And if you didn't get them, that's okay too. Tell me what you think about what I've shown you, etc. Let's have a conversation. That sounded slightly aggressive. Alright guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that cute little notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. What up you two? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sherry. Thank you so much for being here today. Can ring my bell, you can ring my bell. Ring a link a link. It seems like he has tried to do things in um, a way where 